Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it's Omar here. Just making a quick video on uh, how to put some trim. I don't know, I've been doing this trim in this house and um, I just felt to do like a little video. And that right, Mejo? Yeah. yeah, we're gonna do a little video in here on how to cut some trim. You see this one is already cut. And then I got my little Makita saw with the 45 angles, zero degrees, 45, and sort of so. So this one is for a door. You gotta make sure that whenever you're gonna do it, which side you're gonna cut off the door. So that we got the left side and the right side. So in this case, I'm gonna cut the left side. So I'm gonna just try to square it out and get it all, put it on the 45 angle and then cut it. So there you go. See, I measure, my measure was 82 and an eight from the square line to the short point. So I'm gonna show you here in a minute. I'm gonna walk inside and then show you where that I got the measurement for. I set up my, my saw at 45 degrees to cut it in this angle. And there you have it, cut it in a 45. As I'm walking in, give me a minute. So we got this. I'm gonna make sure I show you these guys right here. Yep, that's the name of the company. <laughs> so, uh, yes, just put it all against the uh, the hinge. Move it, but hold on, hold on. And let's move it a little bit, just a tiny bit up. Just a tiny bit up. Oh, not too much. Not too much. Right there, right there. So that way we give a little bit of you. This it is a closet door. It's at 18 inches. Oh, you gotta connect the compressor. So whenever he gets it right there, we get it closer to the point that we want it. Just a little bit lower. Uh, lower. A uh, little bit lower. About right there. Just about like right there. So this is a closet door. So we're gonna put we're gonna put the trim. See where they put the trim. We gotta this one, it's not my fault, it was already like this, so I have to fill this up with some Shirok and then put a piece of trim on the top. So they're using the flat trim in this house. This this one was already like this, this was already there. I'm finishing this job, I should have took some pictures before I got on it, so that way you guys don't think, oh man, you know, you look at all the mess that you did. No, no, no. This one was already like this. So what I need to do is I'm gonna need to put some Shirok in here, fill up with blocks in there to make it steady, and then put my trim on top. So this did not have a door. Same thing right here in this bedroom, did not have a door. I did put this door, I did put this door right here. Um, so what I do, whenever it's on the door, you know, like this one is a right hand, right hand opening. So what I do, I put my trim on the other side. Let me show you. I put it on this side first. See, where it's coming like, you know, with the door and the door jam is flat. That's where I put my trim first. Then when I get all my trim, you know, ready in here, and then I'm able to put the door on by myself, and then just kind of look at the seam right here from here, and then in here, on this other side and to make sure that it's you know that it's pretty even so and as soon as it is even and then check on this seam right here as well make sure it's plumbed make sure that it opens and closes you know real good and nail it so see this one was already here I put this corner trim in here I put the baseboard trim right there because they didn't have it somebody came here first and did some work on it you can tell they left it you know open unfinished so she called me it's a it's a sister from my church that she called me and she's like hey would you mind help me to finish this up and I said yes at your service so now that we I'm gonna put this up we're gonna nail it and then we'll show you the process so anyway after how huh, man it's happy 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 after we put all this, <laughs> the nails, you put the nails in here. So this door does not have a door jam. You know, we did not put a door jam on this door. 
as you can see we didn't put a door gem in here we're going to put a door stopper but we didn't put a door gem the reason is because it would have shrink the hole you know and then you would have to end up trimming the door too much so you don't want that so what we're going to do is that we're going to put the other piece of trim and then we have two ideas in here we can either drill the hole in here to put a doorknob and make it this with you know as a door or we can come back over here on the door stopper and put the magnet where you push on it like a like a cabinet type of thingy uh door when you come in and then you just like push and it opens and then when you close it it just stays there with the magnet so we don't know we don't know see what the customer says and and then we go from there all right so let's put this trim in here you know like so give it a little bit kind of like that over there see what I mean and let's put it right there put a nail on top one for now and then you see whenever you get this this is pretty close pretty tight but then it opens up in here and then it kind of closes back up in here so what you do you have to work work with your trim because sometimes your, your trim work your trim it's not completely straight so you have to pull it out on the bottom then you come back over here with your hand you kind of clear get it clear where you want it and then you close it you put a nail like that and you bring it down you move it over where you need it put a nail right here in the middle there you go we're using an 18 gauge uh, brown nailer with the uh, inch and three quarter nail so I put it that right there and then we'll put that right there all right all right all right so we got that we got that the seam of the door looks pretty good pretty clear if we step back now you can see it looks like a monster ink door look just one eye <laughs> So, but anyway, that's the way it looks. Now it looks like a door. You no know, big deal. We're going to put a trim on the top and have it ready for the customer to see what our sister says. If she wants a doorknob in there or how she wants to get this done. So, there you have it, guys. And then on the inside, of course, we put some uh, shells that she wanted. Very simple for the towels and uh, all the goodies that she, she wants to put. So, we painted there the, there's the way that she wanted. So, all right, there you have it. There you have it. That's the way to put some trim on the door. Like I said, whenever you get the trim, make sure you get the measurements from the floor all the way up to wherever you, uh, uh, if the door gem, the door gem gives you the uh, where, where to stop on the, on the cut. If this one doesn't have the little stop, you just kind of figure it out where you just go maybe about 3 sixteenths to, you know, to a quarter, well, not a really a quarter. A quarter will be kind of way too much. I would say about an eight, three sixteenths of a gap. That is perfect. That's pretty much what you need. So, and then you put, you make sure you cut your left side and your right side. Be aware, be aware of the trim will tell you which way does it go. All right. So, any questions that you guys might have? Um, or anything you can put them down below if you know make sure that you like this video if you liked it if, if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you got more questions about uh, woodwork um, like framing doing some shelves or framing a wall doing an add-on anything like that you know just let me know and I'll be happy to put that video as well all right. Well, thank you guys for watching. So signing out. This is Omar. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm signing out like I do in every every video. I can do all things to Christ who so strengthen me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. All right. God bless you guys. Hope you guys have a great time. And Merry Christmas. No, no Merry Christmas. <laughs> God bless you guys. Bye-bye.